Hello. Hello, JF. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Um, what an arc of my life that I didn't expect. Ah. Oh man, I I envy you. I've been I've been wanting to kill my wife for years, even before I met her. That was always a dream of mine. <laughs> Some, Can you bump him up, please? Like, women dream about the wedding day. I dream about the day that I'm getting away with it, hauled off in cuffs. No, right. no, I want people to oh, know you want that I did it. I want women to know that I did it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, um, do you want to do you want to catch people up on what's happened to you? I'm sorry for laughing, but it's. It's sad. Yeah, it's, it's sad, but it's also a lot of it's it's funny to me. Uh, or it's quite funny, yes. But I've always been it. dating troubled woman and would do crazy stuff, and it always falls onto me to uh, be responsible for what they do because our society cannot process the idea that within the cranium of a woman there are processes that happen which could be called decision making. That doesn't <laughs> exist. There is no such thing. <laughs> Yes, yes. The woman is a robot. It's like a Tamagotchi. And if the Tamagotchi dies, it's your fault. It cannot be from within. Uh, so you, uh, you, your, your, your wife left your house a long time ago. She said, I'm out. Like how long? In June, right? Yeah. Yes, June. She decided that she just needs to go wander. Like she needs to go on a, on a long yeah. walk. Did she, right? Did she went say out for cigarettes. She's always been. She's always been a drifter before I knew her. So she's done that all of her adult life. Most of her adult life, her own parents, her best friends didn't know where, they, where she was. She was always in a new country, always traveling, always passing from one border to the other. And suddenly this girl enters in my life and she lives a trad lifestyle with Papa JF for five years, which I think is commendable. I mean, uh, that she was able to kind of leave her drifter lifestyle. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, I have I have touched an object of the universe. I have affected its state. I understand <laughs> that at some point the physical universe bounce, bounces back, <laughs> and that there would be one day where she would just go back to her old lifestyle. She decided yeah. that that day was June, so she leaves my home, and I'm all good. You know, I, I'm just a dropper. I, I, I'm a dropper husband. Yeah, I will drop you wherever you want, and I dropped her exactly where she the asked ocean. me to drop her. I mean, this is it's a fantasy so, uh, that I've had. <laughs> Can you just drop me off uh, somewhere? Else? You got it. Let's. Five years well, is about call the, your bluff. is about the end of a relation. I mean, then yeah. it starts to repeat after that. Yeah, you know? they should all be ended after. Five yeah, years. mandatory. Right. No, wait, what, and you what, mentioned what the ocean. Technically, it was a few meters away from the ocean. So she was still on land at the moment I dropped her. Uh -huh. And I did so in front of cameras because you know Dick Masterson, what the modern world is. If you don't have a camera, as you do every single move of your life, they will suspect you of murder right. within whatever second you're not being filmed. <laughs> so the way you're talking about it, even now, it makes it sound like murder. <laughs> like the way you're saying I dropped her off in front of a camera. She like, technically was on land at the time. <laughs> she was very close to the ocean, though. <laughs> That's the last time I yeah. saw her. Um, but you, you're right. Like I can, you're right to do that. Um, I I listened to you on a very short interview you had last night, where this girl, this girl was pretending to be Nancy Drew, and she was trying to like mm. bust you on stuff. Yeah, like yeah. Jeff was talking about dropping his wife off near a gas station, and she's like, "Well, did you get gas? Is there a receipt that yeah, pays yeah, you?" Yeah. It's like, and he's okay. like, oh, "What the fuck are you talking about? Not like, everything is a clue." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Women are terrible investigators because they think that questioning every detail is a productive means. <laughs> oh, she was questioning details that the police has already asserted as absolutely true. She was so behind the track in her questioning. Uh, but I mean, what to, what is there to us expect, you know? Yeah, Females um, have not evolved to think or to relate to reality. As it turns out, true. when when your main job in life is to prepare a spaghetti sauce, it's not that dramatic <laughs> if, you, if you put Oregon in real. Of time. Yes, it's for real. <laughs> it's for real. This sounds like this. This accent sounds like an amazing character to me. No, he's called in multiple times before. JF has called in. No, I remember. I remember. Oh my god. Where uh, are you? Where are you? Can you say? Well, well. Uh, in the world. Can you shut the fuck up for one second? No. And not try to dox me here. I mean, <laughs> I have people wanting to kill me because I mean, I have I have multiple cycles of my marketing strategy that there are still people wanting to kill me from two years ago, from three years ago, from seven years ago. Really? You yeah. think I'm gonna tell you where I am? I mean, I you're am the, the in a portion of the world. <laughs> 
Are portion in, of the world. I mean, yeah, what part? North of the, hemisphere. What part? Oh, okay. North hemisphere Canada. because the whole rest Great. of the planet yeah. is covered in shit. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um, so I've I know a lot of uh, your wife is into like um, or I, I've I've heard her speak a little bit on the subject, but it sounds like she's very into like music festivals and like hippie lifestyle and like uh, um, not being tied to anything and being off the grid and stuff like that. Is that accurate? Exactly. Absolutely. So, She's been uh, in those parties. She calls them parties. Yeah. But there are places of degeneracy that I do not approve. Yes, I'm in those okay. scenes. I know a lot of women in those scenes, uh -huh. and I, they they do this. Uh, I not. They are trouble. Not some of them. All of them will just like kind of disappear. Uh, if they're yes. done with a relationship. They're just out. They're gonna go live on the other side. They'll go live on some compound. Um, and just there that's like they they just need like a total reset in their brains yeah. so when yeah. you described it i was like oh yeah i know i know other guys this has happened to well they exist not these fun people. yeah um so when do when do the cops or when when are you suspected of anything well uh it was happiness for uh four months and no one ever thought in the family of my wife, nor me, nor her parents and closed ones. No one. It never crossed their mind to call the police seriously because that's just what Mama Jeff does. That's just uh, her behavior. Yeah. The, we, so they know. I, I understand the normie mind. I was once like you guys, like not you, Dick Master, yeah, son, yeah. but I was once like the people in the audience. Perhaps you are worried for your loved ones. You wouldn't be able to endure two days without them. I have been, uh, I have been raped by life. I have been passed through amounts of suffering induced by crazy women that have totally annihilated any form of emotion inside of me. It has blackened a dark spot on my heart. And so at this point, yes, I'm capable to endure three months of female liberty. Sorry. I'm not the old me. Something bizarre happened. You grew up. That's a second period. I grew up. A second well, yeah. uh, puberty in men. It's their total yes. purge of their emotion. <laughs> Like, I don't see, I just, I don't think yeah. of women in terms of a woman anymore. I just think of them in terms of numbers. They're not, they're all identical. Um, exactly. I saw a clip. This was a clip getting passed around. We're like, this, we got him. This fucker is guilty. Because <laughs> on a stream that it, it was, it would have been around the time your wife left or you murdered her. Uh, you <laughs> talked about hiring a cleaning crew. Slash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, slash murder. When the when the leaving slash murdering took place, you talked about hiring a cleaning cr crew to come into your house and that they sterilized it. <laughs> okay. Perhaps I, I didn't hire a crew. I, I, I did clean my house because the imprint of a woman on a house is dramatic. Mm -hmm. uh, it is dangerous for the pillars of the house, for the stability, for the cleanliness. And so I did arrange the house in my taste when my wife left me. Sorry. That doesn't make me a murderer. But it was just because you said sterilized. They're all like, oh, see, yeah, 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 he's yeah. sterilized because yeah, yeah. of all the blood. I've been, I've been talking like a serial killer for 10 years. Yeah. It's my whole shtick. It's like... And, <laughs> And that you had, she had an electronic trace. I also heard you say that. So you were like, because her yes. phone, I don't know, what's her electronic trace? Um, the thing you, is, I've been, I've been working on covering police stuff for about 10 years, seriously. And I go deep inside police questioning, investigation techniques. I go deep into mass shooter type of stuff. And I have the technical language. And so when people ask me, Jeff, will you be a murder suspect? I explain to them in technical police language, no. There is an electronic alibi available where she has left an electronic trace far from mine. That was too autistic for most people. People have read this sentence and said, that's further evidence that he did it. An electronic alibi is the, the simple fact that we are so traced in our life with everything we do on the internet. That, yeah. I mean, personally, my life is on the internet. You, you can literally know exactly where I'm at. Uh, maybe 20 hours per day. And yeah. AI could tell you the next four hours where I am. Uh, so that is what I meant by an electronic alibi. I knew for sure that Mama Jeff was safe when she left me, that she was safe for at least two days after leaving me, that she was on her way for traveling, for, for her travel plans, and she was giving me signs that she was away from my home and alive. That makes me impossible to be a murderer. Yeah. Um, I've also noticed that... 
Well, you guys, you have you have kids, a kid, or kids, or is that doxing? I read somewhere. Well, I, I do not talk about this subject. You don't talk I about do this subject. I do not engage on this subject. No. Okay, so um, the only reason I bring it up is because I've noticed that when people um, talk to you about this, they say, "Well, there's no way a woman would do this," and then their next step is, "Well, like, well, there's no way a woman would do this to kids," and then, "Well, there's something you must have done to drive her no, away." No, no, like it's no, like no, this no. endless like way of like, "Well, you must have it, yeah. you must have done something. You're Either guilty you killed of something. Her, you killed her. Yeah. You meant because there's no way a woman would just leave her family, right?" And it, like, it's yeah, a, fucking it, newsflash: they happens. go, women go out for cigarettes too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've seen it. Women drop their babies in a box. There are literally boxes put up across the U.S. for women to practically drop their newborn into it. No, we so have mail slots. So yeah. there's, like, there's like panels at fire stations. So you don't do you it can, in a dumpster. You yeah, know, you, you can, it, you can like, move the, like a bank <laughs> deposit. Somebody checks put these the baby boxes. in and then shoves it in. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like a fucking mail, like a pizza. Like, order up. Here you go. Like right. at a bank. Uh -huh. um, yeah, sorry. I interrupted you. No, uh, I mean, I, I had an audio problem here, but yeah, ultimately you have two buttons. Either there are boxes for women to drop their newborn or women never leave their babies. Both options aren't available. Decide what society we're in. Yeah, <clears throat> they do exist. Um, do you know what she, do you know if she's coming back? Do you want her to come back? I do not know if she's coming back. And as a libertarian, I have no say on I am neutral on whatever she wants to come back or not. If she comes back, she knows exactly the conditions of life with me. Uh, it's very relaxed conditions of life. I don't have much demands. I demand monogamy. I demand fidelity, loyalty, and uh, non-physical attacks or non-physical destructions. Those are the terms of my life. And she can come back to it at uh, any point, except if I have found another woman. If I'm with another woman, I cannot Ooh. take her back. She's on a clock. Nice. She's on a and let me tell you, I have experience for one week, the killer's bounty. That is the phenomenon, the psych psychological phenomenon by which females are more attracted to you when you are suspected of the murder of your wife. <laughs> Holy shit, it is there. Mm. It exists. The, mm. the killer's bounty is real. What have they, have women emailed you? There's women fall in love with serial killers. Yes. They have? What do they and, say? I mean, it, it's, it's incredible. Within a single sentence, they, t they tell you that they're single, that they're ready for insemination, that, they, I mean, I used to be at insemination within the first year, and as I moved into e-celeb territory, I was at insemination on the first day. At this point, I've reached insemination on the first sentence. <laughs> <laughs> is that your goal? Well, life moves Inseminating fast. Inseminating as fast, as quickly as possible? It is not my goal. I'm just a family guy who wanted a large family with a single woman, but the world didn't want to give it to me. And so yeah. I'm on a quest of vengeance. And I spray and pray until <laughs> I get my vengeance. <laughs> okay, so now, so the murdering, uh, the murdering reputation is working in your favor now. Absolutely. And so I was like, okay, this is hardcore. I've already built a CV of being one of the greatest assholes in the world. <laughs> That is fun. It's jokes on the internet, invectives, racist, blah, blah, blah. But I mean, this is the next level. OJ style, yeah. just murder. You're the French OJ. So I was the like, French Canadian OJ. I wanted somebody yeah. to Photoshop me and you in a white Bronco uh, before you called in. Okay, so, so my so, philosophy is you deal with the hands that you're given. And I've been given the hand of possible murderer. I'm going to have to play it, you know. You got to tell her you deal. You deal I, I deal with the hands that life gave me and you deal with these hands. Right. See how see how it goes for you. <laughs> Do you think he did it? Do you think he killed his wife, Sean? Hearing him talk about it. I, I, I fucking no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping, this is on the level. I'm kind of hoping he did yeah, and he yeah, gets right, away with it. Right. 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 <laughs> Which I would gladly help. You know? uh, sure, sure. That's a... <laughs> um, yeah, that's the the racism thing is funny because you've always been hit with um, being a huge racist because you talk about IQ flatly, yeah. Right? Yeah. like racial IQ. Not supposed is, to do that. Yeah, that's illegal. Um, but now you have definitely upgraded because now you have the murderer uh, stigma and label constantly and will, reinventing himself. They will never let that drop. <laughs> These girls. <laughs> I mean, even, oh, yeah. even if your wife shows years up from now, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. yeah. <laughs> even if your wife comes back, have... they're gonna go. Well, he still murdered her somehow. I don't know how. Maybe yeah. that's a clone or something. He killed her emotionally. Yeah, <laughs> that is exactly what they would say. 
So I have accepted already that for the next uh, 30 years of my life, I'm just a murderer in the mind of some losers. <laughs> and is your wife sitting out there? Like, does she monitor? Is Mama JF sitting out there monitoring this and going like, ha ha, gotcha. Like, I, well, she could dispel is, it she easily. She explicitly told me, the last thing she told me is she's going off grid, essentially. She didn't say it in yeah. these words, but essentially she said, I'm disappearing without any tracing, electronic tracing of any kind. Because I knew that she had, had left everything electronic behind her except her cell phone. And two days after I dropped her, she says, you're not going to be able to reach me in 24 hours from now. I'm dropping my cell phone behind. So she is on a trip of survivalism, absolutely uh, independent from the system of grid, yeah. total 007 style. And that doesn't seem that far-fetched to me. Like no. that, they, they do no. that. People do that. Yeah. They, people do do that. It's and not, if a guy did it, though, he would be like a, a deadbeat. Like everybody would yeah, pile on him yeah. and say, you're a piece of shit. Like, how could you abandon your family? But when a woman does it, yeah. she like, must well, be murdered. You, you must have murdered her. Yeah, she must be murdered because <laughs> nobody would. Yeah. yeah, you must have murdered her and then went online talking about sanitizing your house and posting like a bunch of ribs that you just cooked. Right. That's clearly that's reasonable, right? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. That, that was a nice tweet that I did photographing the whole bone structure of a cow that we had slaughtered. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, when did, did you think this would happen in your life? Like when you got together with Mama JF? Was it something you saw? Because you're a smart guy. Like this seems like a nightmare yeah. to deal with. Did you oh, know yeah. this was in the, in the cards and you just didn't care? Or? Unfortunately, I know. Uh, unfortunately, I have the brain to calculate these things, yeah. and so I know just how much these girls will hurt me, yeah. uh, just by just by being chaotic and uncontrollable. But at the, you know, it's at you have to have your dick in a vagina. That is just the, the fundamental principle of life, and the rest we're gonna deal with it as it comes to us. <laughs> it's like uh, it's like. Um uh, what's his name? The pitcher, eastbound and down, Kenny Powers, Kenny Powers. but with a fr with a French accent. You yeah. have to have your dick in a vagina. <laughs> right, sounds more sophisticated. Um, do you do you want to talk about? I don't know if any of this is true, but uh, I always see clips of like uh, you going to court for getting custody of some of these women. Um, it's, I always see strange like uh, strange legal uh, uh, postings of stuff you're doing to get yeah. uh, get some of these women and I never I never know what it is or who they're talking about uh, but is any of that yeah. interesting do you want to talk about any of that well I mean the thing is people misrepresent this story so much they, they say I exploited a, a mentally ill girl which is absolutely incorrect there was an adult woman 19 year old mm -hmm. she was a big fan of my rap career because uh, long story but I had a rap career before what and uh yeah. Uh, <laughs> really? Where she was. I gotta look well, this yeah, up. I mean, I, mean, I have uh, my rap against G Man, a uh, freestyle battle, uh, has oh. done like 200,000 views. I didn't know that. You can check up the JF rap on Drunken Peasants. Anyway, she was a big fan of my rap song. And so uh, she, she contacted me, wanted to start a family, didn't like her father. Yeah. So. Okay, I'm like, yeah, we, we talk on the phone for a couple of months, and then I say, yeah, let's live together. So we we were fiancé in the sense that I had promised her that, yeah, we're going to marry ourselves, and I'll take care of you forever. And so we start living together for three weeks, uh, and her father always disagreed with her coming to, to my home and living with me, uh, and it was like... JF, you have to stop her. You don't want... Before she came to me, before I saw her, he, he told me, Jeff, you have to stop this relationship. You have no idea how ugly my daughter is. Like, you, you've <laughs> never seen her. You only, you only Buddy, spoke on I'm the I'm doing phone. you a favor. Look, man, she's <laughs> fucking no, busted. I mean, you don't want this. Figuratively. <laughs> yeah. And he was literally telling me, like, my daughter, yeah, my daughter is retarded. You don't want to be with her. <laughs> and this, this absolute beauty of a female arrives at my home. Oh. A 10 out of 10 absolutely like to fall on the ground where your heart melts when you see her and i was like this little fucker like a woman to you really want to kill you'd really stick it to her mm. right mm. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, i'm like okay who owns this woman herself or her father yeah and i do the computation i look at the constitution well it does seem that she is entitled by constitutional rights to suck my dick 
And so I, te- I te- told his fa- her father to <laughs> fuck himself, and I took her. That in. doesn't. That Not really it. doesn't go well. I've I've seen uh, yeah. guys doing that, and Ralph t- did that. I mean, it didn't work out well for him. I have a French accent. I did it very politely. I, okay. I didn't say go fuck yourself. I said technically she is entitled to make her decisions. Bye bye. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, he was frustrated by this, and he mm. he wanted to capture her basically, but she was an adult woman. So what did he do? He he made a ex parte order finding her to be mentally incapable of. <laughs> consenting to sex in Texas while she was living with me in North Carolina. He sent a private bodyguard along. Mm-hmm. She's 19. Yes, she, he did. Yes, so he got 19. a court to declare her like, like unfair decisions for herself. Oh. Retarded in her absence. And we're talking about a woman who was studying at the university, not a retarded woman at all. In fact, a very high IQ woman. She is one of still as of today. She is one of the most intelligent women I've met. So that's why everyone says you tried to back. abduct a retarded woman because the guy because she yes, was living exactly. with you and the dad said <laughs> she's actually, retarded. She, the court she's retarded. And the court said, yeah. "Well, you can't possibly prove that a woman is retarded or not." So sure, yeah, she's and retarded. especially not in her absence, and especially not in the way it was done ex parte. But somehow the laws of Texas are just like most laws of most states. They are absolutely ridiculous on this point. This is used for people like Britney Spears to kidnap young women and mostly Uh to stop them from reproducing, essentially. Uh, because that it, it's always a subject when it's a young woman, it's about her desire to have babies. And she had the desire to have babies with me. She would have had a great genetic bounty by you know, getting a, a Chad billionaire of crypto like me, but too bad. So uh, he sent a private bodyguard to attack me at my home, kidnap her and bring her against her will in Texas. She was physically uh, beating uh, to not be captured that way. And I was stuck in a situation where I don't have guns. I'm an immigrant in the U.S. Oh. I can't shoot the guy. I can't do anything. Wow. And it's like, and I even complained to the police. Like, this is an illegal home invasion, physical assault on me. I had, I had injuries onto me. And the police didn't care about yeah, it. Because, oh, shit. well, there was an ex parte order. Well, an ex parte order doesn't give you the right to kidnap an adult. What the fuck are they saying? So, anyways, I find myself, I, I went to Texas, drove to Texas, tried to explain to the judge that what he was doing was evil and that he should stop. And that she she should be free to do whatever she it's like wants. Like the Iliad but happening it, right here. Yeah. JF's driving to Texas to get the Alan. Yeah, Troy absolutely. Back. Drove drove. Uh, I mean, it was a long drive from yeah. North Carolina to Texas. Yeah. Uh, and the judge didn't want to hear anything. He, he just shut me down and said, "You don't have the right to speak here." And I was like, "Hey, sir, this is a case about me. My name is right there on your order." So they just the and judge said, like, "Yeah, she's retarded. Get out of here. That's it." He wasn't swayed no, by your the accent. The judge said. The judge said, yeah. you're not a family member of hers. And I was like, I- I'm mm. her fiancé. And he was like, well, uh, you can't be her fiancé uh, because here's her father. And he says she doesn't have a fiancé. Oh. So it, it, she wasn't even there, even at the second hearing. I mean, they were, they were detaining her against her will and deceiving yeah. her into thinking that there was no legal case against her. So basically, uh, we have a bunch of violent people who have partnered with the strong arm of, of the state to steal women from us, uh, and that should be uh, eliminated. But that's another story. Yeah, what it's, is the uh, a little what, less grave? What is the deal with like these dads that are? Um, I don't want to say protective, but they seem like overly possessive of their daughter's sexuality and, yeah. and reproductivity. Mm-hmm. I noticed it. Like I noticed it with Ralph that the dads of his uh, baby mamas, and I mean, I you know, I don't want to talk about the guy's private stuff for everyone, but. He's just dealing with a lot, and it's like these dads just will not fuck off. And I see it, I've seen it with other people too, like exactly what you're describing. Um, What is the deal with that? Well, the problem is we are in an evolutionary uh, transition. Female decision-making hasn't been a thing for seven million years. And a bunch of liberals have decided, let's act as if it was always that way, and females can always do their decisions. The reality is females have always been constrained by violence, money, and, and all sorts of considerations mm-hmm. to basically be pushed into the arms of a man and, and basically to, to protect themselves either from the climate or from the lack of food. They, they always were pushed by circumstance or by other people. 
And I think we're in a species that leaves a lot of control on the parent, even in older in older age when yeah. when the female starts being reproductive, because right. the social network around the act of reproduction in humans matter a lot. It matters about alliances. It matters whether you're going to get any returns. Uh, in the inheritance structure of the tribe, either inheritance of power or money. So it mattered a lot in our history that fathers controlled who they were giving their daughters to. And I think that that's why we, we have difficulty really stepping into the liberalism that we yeah. claim to have. Yeah. <clears throat> it's interesting. It's causing a lot of uh, problems for people. Yes. Women? Well, for guys who are getting their wives yanked away from them. Sure. <laughs> Um, they're not doing them a favor. Yeah, they're doing it. That's mm. true. I guess. Then you got to start over, find a new wife. Uh, you know, big pain in the ass. Mm. Uh, how would you, if I wanted to kill my wife? What would be a good way that I could do it? Do you think, and get away if with it? I did it. Yeah, if I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Very OJ. Very OJ. <laughs> I, I've actually, I actually, I'm surprised that the clips haven't come out yet. But I have extended descriptions of how to kill someone <laughs> while not being caught. I, I think I, I just made too many shows in my life and that the leftists are, have difficulties actually browsing through my whole history. But yeah, what I explained in the Brian Koberger story, mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, you remember Brian Koberger, this, this guy who was a criminology student, went into a fraternity kind of house of college uh, student and killed uh, the ladies that were in there and there was one man also and he, he seemed to think he could get away with it yeah and this idiot this idiot turned his cell phone after starting to drive toward the home like he drove 10 minutes toward the home he was going to commit a murder then turned off his cell phone halfway on the road that is the first stupid thing Why don't you just did. leave your cell phone at and home? Then it, right that's probably a good idea mm. uh. um no, what I explained in this show is that modern murder cannot be executed if you don't have a full electronic alibi. This means it's not enough to leave your cell phone at home. They will detect this. You would need, if you wanted to escape the police, you would need a simulation of your end clicking on the phone. Mm. So you need a little robot that makes these movements as you would do them, yeah, or using, you need some... Okay. Ma macro recorder so you have an electronic alibi okay uh, that is the modern standard what if i send my phone like on a on an uber and i put it in the uber and then send it away somewhere else like the yeah, opposite direction it. it's very easy to know that the difference between a human who carries a phone and he's going to click on all sorts of things that's going to generate uh, socket mm. connections to gmail to okay. maps and just a cell phone hanging like this is not enough. Okay, so I could I could like record me doing my phone for a whole day, and then set up yeah. some kind of a, a a thing on the phone to replicate that while I'm exactly. out doing the murders. What if they find the software on exactly. the phone doing that? And then I would take my oh, girlfriend's well, phone and set it somewhere, and like have it do. I would have to put some kind of long term charger on it, right, and send it out right, so yeah. it's always active and pinging, right, away from the, the murder area. The second principle of good murder is absolutely expressed in Dexter. If there is no crime scene, it is so much harder. And so there needs to be a complete elimination of even the ID that a murder has happened. Mm -hmm. How would you do that? Dexter was doing it. Well, Dexter was doing it with wrap plastics and he was throwing it all in the at the bottom of the ocean. Okay. Uh, but th there needs to be no spot where the bodies are found. Yeah. That'd be tough, I guess. For me, do it over a swimming pool or something. I don't want to do all that plastic stuff. That's a lot of work. That's basically yeah. like decorating for Halloween, and that's probably why I'm going to kill her, is for yeah. forcing me to decorate for Halloween. Mm. So Plastic looks good when you're at Home Depot, and it's right there, and you grab the cylinder. But when you unfold it, it gets in your running shoes, and it's really <laughs> impractical. <laughs> that's a good tip. Okay. Uh, well, what's next for you now that you, now you, that you've, how do you top this? How do you top this one? Yeah. Are you going to fund uh, Hezbollah or something? Are you going to join Hamas? Well, actually I am, I am a major suspect on the internet right now for the attacks, uh, by the Palestinian Hamas against, uh, oh. against Israel. Mm. People have developed a conspiracy theory that I, I launched the attacks in Israel, uh, to, to escape the mediatic attention for my suspicion <laughs> <Yes>. of murder. <laughs> Yeah, I believe that. Uh, you were heating up. I was in a big fight with Null, and then Palestine attacked. 
Israel. I'm like, oh, well, all this is done. Yeah, Fuck. Yeah, yeah. We got to start over when all when they've. These, when when uh, Israel's done wiping out Gaza, we got to restart all these beefs again and get people interested again. Um, <laughs> I hope that Mama JF comes back. I hope she finds what she's, what she's looking I'm for. I'm super confident that she's alive. She's been doing it before. And yeah. even if something happened, an accident, I don't know, she gets attacked by a bear. Uh, ultimately, Mama JF has taken risks in her life. She got lucky for most of her life. Yeah. I expect her to still be lucky. But I know that if she, whether she's dead or alive, she's free. Are you and saying that you coated her in honey wants. before you dropped her off, and then she was attack, might have been Mauled attacked by Winnie by the a, Pooh? Yeah. Winnie the Pooh. Um, that is another strategy, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. The best murders are those you don't have to commit. That's, yeah. <laughs> I love that everyone's telling you, that. like, everyone's, like, freaking out on them, like, Jeff, you have to stop talking. Stop talking. You're incriminating yourself. You're incriminating yourself. Don't you know what you're doing? It's like, guys, uh, what are you talking? This is not how police work is done. Like, yeah. um, does it worry you at all that you'll get got for, like, being innocent? Like, innocent guys do go to prison. Does that worry yeah. you at all? No. Uh, no. The reason I'm so allowing weird. myself some comedy is that right. I know... First, that my alibis are super solid. Yeah. And I've seen the work of the policemen. They've updated me every day on this. And they were knocking at my door every day also. And I've seen their work. It's absolutely top of the world type of uh, tracking and work. So I know that these guys know exactly what I'm doing. They know what kind of guy I am. They actually, you know... The, they looked. They looked me up. They googled me, and they, they were like, "Oh yeah, we googled you," and, and so they know exactly what's happening, and yeah, they are good. very good at what they do. Uh, that's exactly what I was gonna say. What he just said. He's talking like a guy who knows that there's no way he could have done it. The yeah. people who are important know that he didn't do it, so he's yeah. fucking around. Yeah. yeah. Um. <clears throat> you got. I just a clip of him talking to this girl last night, yeah. where she's like, she's like a law student. Yeah. So she's like trying to grill oh, him on. Yeah. She, what did she say? Prima facie. You said, and she yeah. said she didn't know what that mean. And then you called her stupid and she hung up. She accused so me funny. of having no food in my fridge because I made a little joke in my previous. Well, women hate on that. Women about. hate not having rotting yeah. food in the fridge. Mm. That'll really like piss them off. For the first time in my life, my wife has disappeared. So I have the peace of mind of controlling my fridge <laughs> for the first time in my adult life. And this fucking bitch of the internet. <laughs> decides that she has an opinion on my fridge. Are you going to leave us alone one day? I mean, I'm starting to believe the MG Taos were right. Yeah, that we should just go do our own thing. MG Taos, yeah. men, go, men going their just, own way. Yeah. yeah. You, you just don't yeah. watch uh, female YouTube channels. Uh, you, you totally withdraw from the system. Yeah. Um, well, I hope she comes back. I hope you didn't kill her. You know, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> no. I guess we well, don't. I'm sure that she's alive and I'm sure that she's happy and free. I know and what I you're know going her. through would be stressful. Like a woman, someone you love leaving. So. It sounds relaxed. It is stressful. Yeah. It, well, I sound relaxed, but it is stressful. Yeah. But what people don't understand is I was stressed three months, four months before you guys. Everything you guys are learning in the last three days. I've known it for three or four months. Uh -huh. So my stress has, has been past my... There are grief periods that you have. Not necessarily the grief of knowing that she's dead, but the grief of having control over your wife. The grief of, yeah, you, you're going to have to keep living without knowing. I've, tr I've gone through all these grief periods. You guys are like jumping on, on some fresh honey that you think is new, but... That, that I had the emotions four months ago, that, that I couldn't talk about it publicly. Yeah. And you are kind of lucky that she didn't, like, gone girl you or, like, mm. fuck you over in some way. People know? talk to me about gone girl, but I have no idea what that is. It's a movie yeah. about what, what, what happens. The girl, uh, the girl leaves her husband, and when she leaves, she also frames him for her murder. Like, she did oh, all yeah. this stuff secretly to make it look like he murdered her, even though she's just off living her life. Mm. Um, oh yeah, I'm so scared of this in the future with uh, genetic test. I mean, with genetic tests, you could remake a DNA sample of me from just my 23andMe account, and you could spread it all over a murder scene. It's <laughs> insane. So I'm so paranoid about this. I have a 24/7 tracking of myself and filming yeah. of myself. Yeah. There's literally a camera above me while I sleep. Really? Leaving nothing to yeah. chance. So I want to. I leave nothing. <laughs> I want to get that, a camera. I've been threatening my girlfriend with this for a long time, that I'm going to set up a Sleep camera. Cam? Yeah. Yeah, so I can track who is hogging the bed. 
so oh, I can put a line on the camera. Yep, and hammer her with it. Yes, in the morning. Uh, but then I'm worried I'll, I'll see ghosts. That's another evolutionary what thing. Of, what, what kind of hammer do you use? A hammer to what kill do you her. Said to hammer her. Uh, uh, metaphorically, I'm gonna hammer her. Okay, ball peen. Okay. A ball peen. A slight okay, hammer I, for her. Shot peen. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you had recommendations of types of hammer and everything, but but it was a metaphor. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, you're in good spirits. It's good to talk to you again, man. Does anything make you a rage? Does anything? Uh, Anything really piss you off? Yeah. Is it the? Uh, I am enraged. Go ahead. I am enraged from the beginning of my adult life. I've been enraged at the stupidity of human beings, and I still am. Yeah, that's a good one. It doesn't get better, unfortunately. No, you just get you get more you get more disappointed. These chicks are all like they watch like true crime uh, podcasts yeah. all day, and they're like, "Oh, I'm gonna here we go. I'm in the middle of it now. This yeah. motherfucker." It's like, no, he's actually going through a really like sad thing that happens to a lot of guys yeah. and women. If fuck, and stop har harassing him. What you described there is dehumanization of the men. And yes, it's the default mode of psychological interaction with men in our society, and it needs to stop. It's like, yeah, we have our we have our little edgy comments, we have our little facade, but please understand everyone is a human being behind and uh, we have all of the normal human emotions and sometimes we're just playing with you guys because you're so stupid, you fall for <laughs> everything we throw at you. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Um, have a good Sunday, man. Thank you for calling in. Bye-bye. Uh, have a good break from the internet. <laughs> Oh, we go. There he is. What there a, he goes. What a character. That fucking murderer uh, yeah. who obviously killed his wife. Yeah. Uh, uh, he said he was taking a break from the internet. Yeah. And they're like, why? Because you killed you're your gonna wife. You're going to go on the run. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to go on the lamb. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let me text yeah. my. He was, you know, he was talking like a guy who is very secure that uh, he has nothing to be afraid of. Yeah, it happens yeah. so much. Women just leave. Dude, I, I, I've, I mean, I've known people that's happened to, like, literally just up, like, without a trace. And then, like, she'll resurf it, like, a while later. It's like, oh, she's living with some guy in yeah. some little fucking town somewhere. It's like, nobody. Jenny from Forrest Gump. Like, even her. Uh, Penelope Cruz and Blow. Come on, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. Uh, we learned this stuff. Yeah, yeah. The, to, to think that, uh, you know, that they, uh, you know, women don't go out for cigarettes. Like you said, is, yeah, is they do. kind of insane. They do exactly the same thing. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.